Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the World Golf Championships FedEx St. Jude Invitational. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead. They're where they want to be. But what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, focus on the task at hand. They've got to sit there and keep their emotions to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody else around them. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. And here we are with the third shot. Handy effort, that one. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Okay, let's head to the next. Now at minus nine for the tournament. It's time to begin this powerful hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Well, there's action aplenty. Let's head back to the third where this happened just a short time ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? No harm, no foul there with that shot. This punt is about 17 feet long. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. He sits in first position. Teeing off here at the third hole. playing from around 190 yards out. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, what a start. This is impressive. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, we're on the seventh hole now, guys. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, that was left all the way off the club. He hit that pretty loose. Yep, that's a water ball. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. That's a pretty handy shot. 
And here we are with their four. Great touch. Really nicely played. Judging it beautifully. Our leader is up by four shots now. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Second shot here on the fifth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This one headed left. Very well played. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay setting up here with a very long putt. And back to the course with the live action. 16 feet to the hole. This one's dialed in. And that will drop in for birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Well, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. Sitting at nine under, currently in top spot. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Oh, that's frustrating. And this one is for his par. And well hold. Let's move on. Leading by a couple after that hole. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. That's tidy. Second shot here on the seventh. Woo, back there, horsey. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This putt's about four feet from the hole. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Third shot now. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, nicely done. Great chip. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Drive. That one should find the fairway. 
from around 180 yards out. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's not the outcome they were after. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Didn't that look good for a long time? Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Good putt, that. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. John, have you got a read on this one? This looks like around 26 feet. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. What a bad line, this one. Lining up from around 160 yards. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Opting for the five iron. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Job done. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, you've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Yeah, that one's looking good. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. This putt coming up is for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from earlier today. An absolute beauty here. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Good-looking shot, this. Second shot here on the 12th. <laughs> Wonderfully played. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Just following Matt Kuchar at the moment. We're on the 13th. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. We have a par four on this one. And that should find the cut stuff. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That's ah, a little wayward. Airmail the green with that approach. 
And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, that almost went down. There's part of about six feet coming up. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Now four shots up after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. This took place just a short time ago. Always enjoy watching Ian Poole to play well. Here's a great shot. OK, let's get back to the action. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Steady on. And this putt coming up for his par. Looking good. Nicely hold. And for par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Well, this one's right at the pin. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Good look at a birdie here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Uh, you'll take the tap in for par any day. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Oh, absolutely flushed. This shot from around 210 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Going with the hybrid. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down? It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Oh, almost went in. Right on four feet. Should make this one. A good stroke. I like their courage to be able to get that to go down and save the hole. That'll way to grind it out. In the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. Sitting at two under par in a share of seventh. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. We've arrived at a par four hole. Now well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Getting ready to play their third. Second shot here on the 17th. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Oh, I thought that one was going in. OK, that hole's behind you now. Leading by four strokes after that one. 
Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. That's going to fall in the water, sadly. And here we are with the third shot. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Round now in the books. Good luck next time. So, two rounds in the books, Rich. Not a bad little day's work, I think. No, and only two more to go. Looking forward to seeing what happens over the final 36. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.